meeting Slife Dancers and I'm here in San Francisco by the water and um, I want to talk about water because that's what I do. I've been flushing. My voice has been a little bit uh, challenged and so I just wanted to take a moment to give a quick one for my YouTubers and say congratulations all of you for helping me achieve my 400 subscriber goal by the end of February, I am now at 402. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So this is a thank you post. So also for the body, um, the immune system is something that is very uh, interesting. I do everything to keep my immune system up and at some point, something creeped in. So I had to flush with my 9.5 water. And so I'm by the water to remind us all to stay hydrated. And um, I also took various things, honey, tea. This has been in 24 hours. My voice was relatively gone on Monday. And so now it's back today because I've done some flushing with microclusted water. <laughs> and I've gotten what most of us don't get and that is enough rest. So I, it is Wednesday for the body and this is what I am called to do. I'm using my own life experience to remind us all to stay hydrated, get plenty of rest. This happened to me and I'm one of the most physically strong and spiritually strong-minded folks out there. But lots of times, like we all say, the downturns come, negative comes in and whoop, that's what happens. So I love you all out there and for today I'm going to talk about a dancer that is near and dear to my heart, Pearl Primus. I will put that down below. She was um, studying under the Dunham Technique. She is Trinidadian and she was part of the African American fiber history of dance in America in, in the early years of African dance and African dance. She was an anthropo anthropologist and I will talk about her more. But yes, that's it for today. Quick one. Keep hydrated and stay focused on your goals. Ciao, ciao. Like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. You know when to do it.